All right, we're gonna have fun today. We got our loop band, we got our light weights. We're gonna start with our feet nice and wide in a second position. Knees tracking over those toes. Let's take a big inhale up. Exhale down, four, three, two, one. Inhale up and exhale down. We inhale up, we exhale down. One more, inhale up. Let's go tempo. We go up and down, up and down. Feels good to get moving this morning. Feel those inner thighs working as you come up as well as the glutes. Give me eight more. Eight, cloud chest, seven, six, five, four more here. Three, two, arms up, sail down, and pulse. You got it. Knees tracking over those toes, arms out like a T. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now take it up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Four more to go. Four, three, two, and one. Now I'm gonna bend this elbow, press it out, and do that again. Bend, press, bend, take it out. Bend, turn, bend, press it out. Bend, turn, let's pick it up. And one, two, three, four. Four more, three more, two more. Now stay side. Down and up lunge. My arms go with the legs. That front knee should be over the ankle. Four, woo, don't lose your balance. Three, two, eight more. Ha, gotcha, you thought you were done. Inhale, exhale. Four more here, four, three, two. Hold those arms up, settle into it and pulse. Arms out in front, chest height, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now we're gonna go up and down with those arms. Up, parallel, up, parallel, up, parallel, up. Four more here, three more, two more, and one, hands to the mat. Don't move those hands, straighten that front leg. Inhale up. Lunge forward, exhale. Inhale, exhale. You got it. Four more. We breathe in, we breathe out. Three more, and in. Two more. You got it. One more. Now hold it here. I'm going to tap my ankle to the other ankle, and then lunge back out. I tap it in. I lunge it out, I tap it in, I lunge it out, I tap, wanna go tempo? We sure do. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Walk your hands to the center, face me, proud chest, and give me a little pulse here. That's right, eight, seven, six, come on, five, press to those heels in four, in three, in two, straighten those legs, peel yourself up, open those arms out, and we pulse that plie now. Two, three, four, five, six, arms up, give me eight here. Two, three, four, looking strong. Now those arms go to a T and back up. T, back up. Seven, six, inhale, exhale. Four more, three more, two more. Finish on the T. Now I'm gonna bend this elbow, press it out, bring it back. Bend, twist. Bend, press it out. You got it. Bend, press it out. Now 
get ready because we are going to pick this up. Two more. It's the same move. It just connects a little quicker. Four, three, two, one. And one, two, three. Those arms need to be strong. No noodle arms, strong arms. Four, three, hold it out. We lunge, down and up. Front knee over the ankle. And that back leg needs to be back far enough to give us space here. Eight more, please. Eight. You're choosing how much to bend, how much to strengthen. Looking good. Four more. Three more. Two more. Arms up, settle it in, and pulse. Woo! Can't wait for that stretch next. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hands reach long. One on each side of that foot. Inhale, straighten that leg. Exhale, forward. Inhale, exhale. Keep going. Inhale, exhale. You got four more to go. And three. And two. Yeah. One more. Now let's slowly cross the ankle. I cross it. I lunge back. Cross it. Lunge back. Cross it. Now make sure that core is part of this. Four, three, two, pick it up. Just eight, seven, six, five, four more. Three, drive from that front heel. Two, and one. Walk your hands, face me. I'm going to bend those legs and straighten them. Crown of my head is nice and long. My head's just not hanging there. Bend, extend, bend, extend. Now as you extend, I feel like I'm pressing the back of my knees against an imaginary wall. And my core is pulling in deeper as I zip those legs up. Three more, two more, and one. Soften the knees. Hand to each thigh. We're going to round it up and arch it down. Four, three, two, one. Up and down. I exhale, I inhale. Belly has to pull me up. You got it. Smaller and tempo. Eight, seven, six, five. You got it. Just give me four more little ones. Three, two, stack your spine and lunge it side to side. Give me a forward shoulder. That's it. Now roll that shoulder back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Go back to that forward shoulder for four, three, two. Roll it back. Four, three, two. Now tap the toe. That's it. Now those inner thighs are working. Core is always working. Glutes are working. I'm going to reach it up into a nice diagonal. And again, make sure those belly muscles are firing because we are moving. Eight more here. And then instead of reaching diagonal, I'm going to reach straight up with the plie. And I lift that heel with my arm. So it's like a puppet string with that arm, with those toes. I'll go straight up. Don't lean like this. It's straight up. Bam, bam. You're gonna feel more heat coming from those quads. You're welcome. We got eight more. Seven, six, five, four. Take it to a squat. The arms will go down, push up, down. So how wide should the legs be apart? As wide as your frame. I shouldn't feel pressure in that lower back because the weight is behind me and I'm pressing through my heels. Looks good. Don't forget to breathe. Lower, lift, lower, lift. Now on the lift, 
I'm gonna alternate a knee. Bam. So here's some balance, yes? Make sure that dinner plate is on top of that head. We've got eight more to go. Here's eight. Let me see your eyeballs. Four more. Three more. Two more. Now step out wide. You got it. Let's go back to that lunge. Woo! Take those arms back out like a T. And these are strong arms. And my shoulders are resting on top of that rib cage. Now this arm is going to sweep. Sweep. Don't forget to breathe. Sweep, lunge, sweep, lunge. Eight, seven, six, good. Five, four, three, two. Lunge it out. Now it's going to be this arm and this leg, this side. Not yet. I'll count down for you. Three, two, one. Sweet. Inhale. Exhale. Now, if I go too fast, I don't want your form to suffer. I want you to slow down and go your own pace. Inhale. Exhale. Eight. I want you drinking water throughout the class. And when you feel you can't talk in a complete sentence, slow down your pace. And let's lunge it again. Woo! My elbows are a hinge. They're staying parallel to the floor. I'm squeezing the back of my arm as I press out. So it's funny how you'll have no weight in your hands, but yet all of a sudden, those arms feel like, oh my gosh, do I have weights in my hands? Now hold center and just circle those arms. It's easy now. If you want to come down a little deeper, tuck that tail, pull that navel in and up. Now reverse those circles. Now don't get caught doing this, right? Yeah, so if you feel the strain here, they're up. Seven, six, five, four, three. Now push the hands forward. Belly in deep. Yeah. Press, press, press. Don't forget those glutes are firing. Inner thighs, oh yes they are. Now let's push the arms down. How heavy are the weights you got in your hands? If you like tens yet, you feel like here? But make sure you're supporting it from here. My last set, I push it back. One, two. You can do this. I know you can. Your mind's going to tell you, just stop because the pain will go away. But you only have four more reps here. Four, three, two. Shake it out. Okay. Warm up completed. Nice job. I'm going to give you an A plus on that one. So we're hydrating now. We're checking in with our bodies. I want you to grab your loop band, please. And we're going to do the next series with this. So there's all kinds of different loop bands, right? I look around the room. I see different colors. That could mean different tightness, right? So if you do something that's not working with your band, just get rid of it, okay? So we're going to start by putting this on our legs and sliding it up to our quads. Do you need to hold on to the wall to do that? Please do that. Don't fall over on me. All right, so we're going to start in our little demi plie, hands to the hips. And we're just going to press against that band in these tiny little demis. Now, don't get caught on this demi sticking out your booty. Nice and tall, tiny. Good. Pulse, pulse. Anytime you need to take a break, please take one. But I will ask you, don't just come to a complete stop when the heart rate is elevated. Okay? You got to keep moving, but you're not going to do what we're doing. Here's eight, seven, 
six. I'm going to take this leg out and pulse it. Four, three, two, one. Pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Give me eight more here. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Come back in. Now, we're going to go for four. Three, two, out for four. Four, three, two, in for two. Out for two. In for two. You know what's next. Take those arms here. And let's go single. In. So don't worry. We'll be adding those weights to the upper body in the next segment. I don't want to overdo it. Your last class was a lot of weights at the beginning. And in the middle. And at the end. I remember. Four. Let's go. Three. Two. Demi. Pulse. Eight. Seven. Where am I going? Four. Three. Two. Out for eight. One. Two. Three. Four. Knees here. Not here. Come in. Give me four. One. Two. Three. Out for four. Looking good. In for two. Out for two. In for two. Out for two. Singles. Three. Four. Come on, give me that demi. Where's that demi? I'm bending when I come in. I'm not taking a break, are you? I didn't think so. As I look at you, eyeball to eyeball. Seven. Six. Five. Come on. Four. Three. Two. Demi. Pulse. Now we're going to alternate these legs. We're going to do a plie, a demi. A plie, a demi. Same arms. Four. Three. Two. Take it out. Switch. Out. In. Out. So when you're pushing out against this band, you're working your abductors, aka your out of thighs. I hope you can feel it. I go four, three, two, one. Now, step out, settle it in. This leg, this arm are going to move. I'm going to lift up. I come back out. I lift up. Tempo. One, two, that's it. Three. Come on. Five, six, seven. Give me eight more. It feels good with these bands. How you guys doing with my new ones? <laughs> yeah, I used my old one today. Is that cheating? I don't know. Yeah. Now hold this one up and pulse it. Now I want you to lock your standing leg, drive that foot through the mat, and feel that body zipping up and up. If you need to hold on to something, hold on to something. But both legs should be straight. I'm not sinking into this bottom hip. Think up. Up is better. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Arms like a T, out to a plie. All right, it feels good. Am I the only one who's crazy? Feels good. That burn feels good. Yeah. We're going to go back in that demi. Arms are going to come forward. Here we go. Demi. Demi. Come on. Feels good. Connect those heels. Everything's zipping up like a straw on top of your head. Sucking everything up. Okay. Open it up. Now this leg, this arm, we're going to go slow just for two reps, okay? We're going to lift up and take it back out. Lift it up. Here we go. Two. No leaning on that hip. Zip it up. Remember that straw sucking everything up? you got eight more to go. Eight, seven, it looks good, six. Are we sweating today? 
four. We didn't lose Sandy yet. All right, Sandy. Two. Hold it here and pulse it. Zip, zip, zip. Like a Ziploc baggie, right? Yes. And you'll know you're sinking on this hip because it won't like it. Uh-huh. I know. I know. I, I hear you. I hear you. You can read it on your faces. You are determined you're going to get all these reps in, aren't you? We sure are. Give me eight more here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Demi, pulse. Woo! I love it. You made it through that series. It wasn't so bad. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Now let me get you set up first. Let's go into a wide stance. Okay? Then we're going to turn to face this direction. All right, so we don't want to start off wrong. Here would be a wrong position, right? Here would be a wrong position. Everything is zipping up. This leg is back far enough. This one's over my knee. I'm going to tap in, press it back, tap, press it back, tap, press it back, tap. Drive, drive. Now I'm going to add my arms. I'm going to reach them out diagonal and pull them through. Pull, two, three. Four, five, six. Now put extra credit, lift that knee for the next eight. In, out. I'm not shifting my standing leg. It's staying bent. It's not shifting at all. Four, three, two. Now hold it back there. Bring it up nice and tall. Now my front heel it's going to lift as my elbows pull down, and I'm going to drop it back down. I releve my front heel as I pull my elbows down. Back up. So my legs aren't changing. It's just that heel. Pull. Press it back up. Squeeze your back muscles. Stretch them. Good. Now hold the arms up. Hold that heel up. And let's see if we can do little tiny pulses. Now, this is not cold for you. Just put that heel back down, right? That's completely fine. But we look pretty good. So give me eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Turn to face me. And then we're going to pivot to the other side. Okay, so before we start moving, we make sure we're set up properly. Knee over the ankle, tall on the spine. Yes? Okay, we're going to tap it in, take it back, in, out. I don't want to see any movement in that standing leg. I drive forward and back. Good. I'm going to add my arms. They're so going to pull back as my leg comes forward. Don't forget the breath. The breath is important. Pull. Pull. Now my next step, if you would like... You can drive that knee. Seven. I want the core involved there more. Crunch. Four. Those arms are not noodles. Remember that, please. Two. And one. Bring those arms up. Ah. Uh, settle it in. I'm going to take that front heel. Pull the elbows down. Raise that heel. Raise. So nothing else changed. I'm still in my split lunge here, and I'm just raising my heel. I'm not coming down like this. Yep. And my elbows meet that heel. Eight. Seven. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold everything up in little pulses. Arms are up. Both heels are lifted. Find that focal point in front of you. Woo! It feels good. Can you give me just eight more? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Turn to face me. Little pulses here. Little pulses. Woohoo! You look so good. I'm so proud of you. I certainly am. My next set are going to be little curtsy squats. So I'm going to take my feet more parallel. This leg here is going to come behind. 
I square off my hips and my shoulders. I'm not here doing these, okay? And we're going to bend and extend. Now you choose how much you bend, but you don't choose the form of where the hips are. Maintain a tall spine, crown of the head, holds up that ceiling. Now you are more than welcome to stay just like this. I'm going to add a toe tap out. I start counting now. Two, three, four. In two minutes, you're at the halfway point. We haven't touched the weights yet, and we haven't gone down to our mat yet. So you got a lot going here. Four more. Here's four. I'm going to change it. Now keep it behind, and that's pulses. Okay? So I'm going to do three pulses and one attitude. An attitude looks like this. Okay? So first you're going to give me three pulses now. Three, two, one, attitude. Three, two, one, sweep. Again, if you need balance, take this hand to the wall. One, two, three. Can you feel it? In both sides of your body. One side is your supporting side. One side is the one you're supposed to be working. Two more. Don't cheat. Now we're going to hold this attitude. Reach those arms forward and pulse. This is soft. Soft knee. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Okay, the good news is that side is done. The better news is you got another shot at it on the other side. Right? You want another shot. All right, if you need that drink, make sure you're grabbing one. Make sure enough circulation's going through the room with ventilation. Okay, so I step it. I bring it behind. I can't be like this. I'm like this. Here we go. Bend, extend. The tall spine and the supporting core are so key in working out safely. I'm driving through this front heel. You can stay just like this. And you can also tap out. And it's just tapping the toes, not the whole foot. Aha. Uh -huh. Don't forget to breathe. That's a plus. I love it. I go four, three, two. Now we're going to stay behind in that curtsy and pulse it. Now this is where I said we're going to do three pulses and an attitude. If you'd rather do three pulses and a side out, that's fine. Or nothing at all. I'm going to start counting now. Three, two, one, attitude. Give me a good attitude. Nobody wants a bad one. One, two, three. And make sure you're on the other leg, right? So we're on the other side working. One, two, three. Try not to compensate by leaning sideways, right? You know that. So we think of holding up that ceiling, going straight up. One, two. These aren't easy with these bands. Your range will be smaller, maybe. Now we're going to hold this one back and pulse. Stop in this knee. Belly in. Find that focal point in front of you. One, two, three, four. Eight more, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Nicely done. Woo! Now we're going to do these little step taps like we're doing now. We're going to make them bigger. And slower. Got it? 
You're almost ready for your weights. We've got to watch our time. Oh, we are well past halfway. All right, I'm going to step it out. Step it out. So the step touch was more exaggerated, and you're choosing how far you go. Bend. So I'm coming all the way up as I bring my legs together. I want you to feel these adductors, adductors, inner thighs, working to come in. Now this time, I'm going to keep my knees soft. Now if that's not for you, if you've got knee issues especially, you may not want that weight like that. You got it. Out. Together. Out. So I'm resisting the push out. I'm resisting the pull in. And when I pull these legs in, my belly is also pulling in. Now I want you to work your way more to this side of your mat. So I'm going to take a little bigger step until I end on that side. Now bring them together and pulse a little squat. Now I'm going to keep my knees bent and I'm going to do step touches down. Four, three, two, one, four, three. My knees are staying soft. They're tracking over my toes. One, two, three, four. Let's go. And I sort of feel like this leg is really working a little bit more. And it should be. It's driving it. I'm going to add these arms now. Out. Out, out, out. Woo! If you're working hard, you're going to feel something in those thighs. If you're kind of taking an easy route, you're not going to feel that same burn. Come on. Woo! -hoo. Only one more. Finish it. Four, three, two, one. Turn to the side of your mat. So I'm going to cue right left. My right leg is going to come behind me. I did not arch. I did not lean. Okay? Barely lift those toes off. They're hovering. Now I'm going to go up and down. Up. Now notice I'm not lifting too high. My back is staying neutral. It's not going like this every time I lift. That won't feel good. Your standing leg should be straighter. Drive that foot, that heel. Through the floor. Out. 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 And I want you to pulse it. I'm also going to add those arms. Palms face behind me. And I'm going to push back with my leg. Push back. Stand taller. You should not be hinging forward. Walk your standing leg more. Yeah. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven. Give me eight more here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, shake it out. I'm going to stay facing the same direction. My left foot will tap behind me. I zip up my spine. My core is working overtime here. Take those toes off the floor and we'll lift it up, hover, up, hover. Your hips and your shoulders should face straight ahead to the wall in front of you. Feel as if you were laying on your mat and you are pressing the back of the knee against that mat. So we're really straightening that standing leg. Core is important here for balance. Find that focal point. Don't forget. Lift. Lift. And now let's pulse it. I'm going to start the leg only. You can choose not to add the arms. I'm going to take my arms to my side, palms face behind me, and push it back. I'm working that tricep, a little bit of rear delt, and I'm opening up the front of my body. Three, four, five, six, seven. Can you give me eight more? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and shake it out. Woo! Okay, we're going to take that loop band off. Ah, and we're going to be going to our weights now. So I'm going to turn sideways so you can see. Depending on how much room you have, you need to have 
this amount of room beside you, okay? So we're gonna start with our back. So my legs are shoulder width apart. I'm gonna bend my knees, sink my glutes down. My arms reach out in front of me, my palms are turned in. So I'm gonna do a row first, extend, and then I'm gonna pull it back and squeeze my blades and come back into that diagonal. So I row it back, press that to a diagonal, pull it through. That's move, row, pull. Now that core has got to be engaged the whole entire time. My tail is slightly tucked, so my back is not in an arched position. My knees are soft, and I'm driving through my heels. Pull it through, squeeze the back. You can also do this one arm at a time if that's easier or no weights at all. Pull, press back, row, good. You still working from your core? Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, bam. Now I'm gonna change it, pull the elbows back, and we're gonna kick it back, triceps. Now don't get caught with your shoulders riding up to your ears. Let the shoulders rest on that rib cage. And I'm hinging from my hip, not from my back, so I can get those arms higher up. Now if the back is saying, uh-uh, bring it back up and you'll have just a lower tricep press. You do not have to be in this hinged position. Now hold it back there, flip the palms up and press. Again, you gotta keep your shoulders away from your ears. This is a common point where we start to do this. You got to anchor those shoulders back. Do not feel the strain to your neck or your traps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can you give me eight more, please? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Go into a wide plie. And we'll do these little hammer curls. So remember, a plie is a Y stance. Heels are turned in, and they're in a straight line, right? They should be in a straight line. Now, if you want to work the legs more, you sit into it more. Now, I'm not flinging the weights like this. My upper arm is glued to my side. So if your elbow leaves your side, you're using too much momentum. Now, I'm going to also add my legs now. That's optional. You don't have to. Boom. Boom. Squeeze. The work is on the up, but you got to get that arm all the way down. You got to lengthen the arm before you can strengthen. Lengthen and strengthen. Let's go. We got eight more here. Seven, six, five. Here's four, three, two, and one from this side. Now on this one here, I'm gonna raise my heels as I raise my arms. You don't have to. I'm scooping that belly in and up. Ooh, we gotta have lots of time for abs yet. Ah, race against the clock, right? Did class go by fast? Serious faces here. They are focused on what they're doing. I love it. I hope you do. Don't forget the breath is important. Bam. Bam. Now, if you want an extra challenge, hold those heels up. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four more. Here's four. Three. Two and one. Okay, shake it out and let's go down to our mats. If we have time, we'll do some more with our with our band. I'm gonna turn this way. Actually, all right, we'll do it this way first. So I'm gonna try to get some shoulders in with my abs. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna come down, press up. So I really don't bring my head down and rest it on the mat. I sort of hover it. And if this is too fast for you, 
I want you to go your own pace. I want you to exhale up, inhale down. I want you to breathe. So I punch it up and I bring the elbows down. I punch it up, I bring it down. Now stay right here. Press. Press. You got it. Bam. Bam. I'm going to seek her back a little bit. I'm going to keep pressing. Now make sure your tail is tucked and your core is in and up to be in this position while you have weights. I'll come back a little further. I go eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Here's four. Three. Two. One. Bring it down for four. Three. Two. Now I'm going to go into a bridge position. My palms turn in. I'm going to bridge up and down. So it's two counts up, two counts down. Squeeze the booty, pull that belly in and up. Up for two, down for two. Now I'm gonna add on, as I'm going up, my arms are gonna go out for two, and then press back up. Now you can choose, would you rather exhale, coming up on the bridge, or exhale, coming up with the weights. You're going to pick it. What feels best to you? Make sure your knees are tracking over your toes. And you're opening up that chest right here. Core is still engaged. Up and down. Two more, please. Up and down. Hold the bridge. Arms go tempo. One, two. I have a more of a bend of my elbow here, picking up my pace. I go four, three, two, and one, and lower it down. And hug those knees in. Nicely done. Rock yourself up. Grab back onto your band. And we're going to place it this time behind our arches, which means I have to take my legs further apart while I'm sitting here to keep my band tight and where it was, okay? Hands behind your thighs, we're gonna lay down on the mat. I'm gonna stop at the base of my shoulder blade, draw my knees in and place my hands behind my head. All right, so I want you to focus here on that lower back. It cannot be arching off the mat. All right, so my right leg is gonna push out. And then my left leg, right, left, out, eyes to the navel, every time that knee drives in, I'm exhaling. You can take the legs up higher or don't use the band at all, you can even do just a regular crunch here. Four. Four. Where's that lower back? You tell me. Two more. One more. And hug it in. Woo! Nicely done. Take the band now to the ankles, right below them. All right. Zip these legs up. Keep that band tight. And I'm going to nod my chin to my chest. Hands go behind my head. All right, so here I'm going to press out and in, out and in. Now, a couple options here. If you'd rather lower your head and lift, it can lower on the out. Or you can hold the head up the whole entire time, but you got to be curled up and over that sternum, up and over. You got it. Now, when I come back together, I'm going to take one hand and reach it to that ankle opposite. So it pans to the opposite leg. 
I'll be breathing. That's a plus. Four more. Three more. Two more. And one. Woo! Rock yourself up. All right, so we're going to go into a plank. I'm going to take that band again behind my arches. Okay? I'm going to come on to my hands and knees. Now, more than likely, you have to go back there and adjust that band again. But try to have it flat. All right, so you're more than welcome to do a modified plank. You just wouldn't move the band. You would hold the plank here if that's you. Okay? So I'm going to make sure my shoulders are over my wrist. I'm going to fire those muscles by my armpits. Slightly tuck my tail. Engage my core. Lift my knees up off the mat. So I'm going to drive one set of toes in and then the other. So it's just like when you were on your back. Same position. One knee in, other leg out. We just took it this way. I want you to drive through. Drive. <sighs> Yes. Are you squeezing those armpits? You should go no pressure that back, but that belly is working. You got one more set. Yes. Eight. Seven. If you're struggling, it might help if you just count down with me. Here's four. Here's three. Here's two. And one. Lower those knees. Stretch back. I'm going to take my hands behind me and curl my fingertips to my wrist. Slide that band back by your ankles again. Good. And then come back into a quadruped position. Shoulders and hands stacked. I can see my toenail polish. I'm pulling that belly in. I'm squeezing into my armpits. I'm going to lift these knees off the mat. Good. Now I'm going to take my right leg back. Come back in. My left leg back, come back in. My right leg, come back in. My left leg, lower those knees and check in. Now if you'd rather stay with your knee on the mat, you can also tap your foot behind here. The band's gonna move a little bit. You can also try without the band. We're gonna try that again. Draw the navel in, squeeze those armpits, knees off the mat. Seven, six, five, four, three. Now I'm gonna walk my right foot out. Bring it back in, left, right, left, right, left. One more each leg, right, left, lower to your knees, stretch back, release those wrists, curl the fingertips to the wrist. Woo! Nicely done. All right, one more set here. Your wrists are killing you. Maybe take this set off and stretch those wrists. Got it? Curl those toes, pull the belly in, lift up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, right foot out. Bring it in, left foot. Now, if you want to try another variation, we're going to play fall the leader. So it's going to go right, left, right, left, left, right. The last one in is the first one out, out. Out, in, in, out, out, in. One more each side leaning. And finish it. And then lower to your knees. Stretch it back. Release those wrists. They deserve it. No more wrist stuff. No more wrist. We are going to go onto our forearms. And we're going to do little side taps with our toes. Okay? Again, modify if you need it. Shoulders over elbows. I'm going to watch our time here. All right. Take the legs back. Tuck your tail. Belly in strong. Back is long. I'm going to take my right foot. Tap it out. Bring it in. Then my left foot. Bring it in. Crown of the head is long. Belly in strong. Tap. In. Tap. In. Tap. Tap. When you need a break, you lower back down to your knees. Eight, seven, six, five. Got this? 
Yes. Two more. Last one. Lower to your knees and stretch back. I'm still going to take my arms behind me just to give a stretch to my shoulders. Yeah. Okay, let's come on to our side. So you're going to mirror me. You're going to slide your band up to the quad, halfway up the quad. So we're going to do a side plank lift, clamp. So here's what it's going to look like. I'm going to lift up, come down, clamp. Okay? So shoulder over the elbow, pull up, bring it down. My bottom leg pushes down as I lift my top leg up. Up, down, clamp. Keep this lifted, keep this connected. You know those things. So I'm going to pick up my pace. One count up. Now don't get sloppy. Up, down, open, close, up. Down, open, close. Three more. All your connections are very critical. Now hold this one up. Hold this one up. Now we'll clam here. Now this is not cold for this side of your body. Put that hip back down. Five. Got four more. Here we go. Four. Looking good. Three. Feeling strong. Two. And one. Switch sides. Ooh, this is it, guys. This is it. This is it. All right. So alignment. Shoulder elbow. Knees towards the top edge of your mat. I lift up. I clamp. Lift up. Anchor this. Don't let it get near that ear. And I lift. Tempo. Up, down, open, close. My hips stay directly in line with my shoulders. I don't take my leg and hip with it, okay? Up. So what are we working on the up? The oblique, back muscle. Here is the hip and glute. Outer thigh. I think class went by so fast. If you have fun, time goes by fast. If it was the longest class ever, I didn't do my job today. Now hold this one up. We're going to finish. Balancing clams. Here we go. Close the ribs. Keep it down. Four more. Four more. Here's four. Come on. Three. I love it. Two. And one. Sit up. Slide that band. I'm going to take it behind my arches. Yep. I'm going to stack my spine. I'm going to try to move this up a little bit more. I want to be able to, I don't know if I will be able to or not. I want to point and flex. So try to use this as an opportunity to sit super, super tall. Ah. I like it when you guys adjust. You know what you're doing. You know how it feels to sit properly in that right alignment. Shoulders are down. And when I flex my toes, I'm pretty much lifting my heels off my mat. And my belly is still working a lot. And give me one more. And let's take our left foot out. And we're going to lie back and take this right leg straight up with the band. And I'm just going to pull my hands towards my chest and try to push that leg straighter. Uh-huh. Try to breathe. That's always a good thing. Now make sure both legs are straight. Now I'm going to straighten this right arm up. I'm going to put my left arm out like a T. I want to put a bowling ball on my left hip and take this right leg out to the side. Now I'm going to bend my right elbow to give a little more resistance. I can push that leg out, but the left hip has to stay heavy. Now bring it up and put your left hand on that band. Right arm goes out like a T. 
I'm going to look to my right arm as my leg goes over. My rib cage stays heavy. My shoulder is planted to the floor. I can bend this elbow and give some more resistance. <laughs> Just close your eyes. You won't see what's by your face. Bring it back up. And then the other foot comes in. Yes, I know we're space challenged during some of these things. All right. So I'm going to bend my elbows, try to get that leg closer towards me. I'm pressing up in that band. I'm trying to straighten that the back of my knee. I'm breathing. Now the left hand will be on the band. Right arm goes out like a T. My elbow is going to pull down. And I take my left leg to my left. Don't let the right hip lift up. Come on, push in that band. Push, push, push. Belly still engaged. Bring it up. Put your right hand in the band. Left arm out like a T. Look away from your leg. Bend that elbow. Push through that band. Ribs are in. Legs are straight. Breathe. And then bring it back up. Ah, two feet in that band. I want you to bend your knees like a frog. Release those hips. And I'm going to keep my elbows bent. I'm going to drive my legs straight up. I want you to lower those knees like a frog. And then from here, rock yourself up. Release that band. We're going to stretch through the inner thighs, the hip flexors. So I'm going to grab onto my ankles. My elbows go to my knees. I'm going to push these knees down. Shoulders are relaxed. You can take your hands over your toes. Use that as leverage to get your torso closer to the mat. Once you take your one leg out, once you turn your torso to that leg, and I want you to reach. Ah, the music stopped. We're going to keep stretching. Hold your hand and breathe. Sometimes it's nice just to hear the birds. Now take this forearm to the mat and then bend this knee to stretch your quads. And I want the foot into your hand. Hand into the foot. A little bit of pressure there. Then take this back knee to the ceiling. Place that foot down, and then wrap your hand around that to zip up and look over that shoulder. Sit nice and tall. And then unwind and take the opposite leg out to a half straddle. This knee bends, turn your torso to that leg, reach forward. Use those hands to pull that torso down. Try to have the back of the knee pressing into the mat. Hamstring stretch here. And then come onto your forearm, quad stretch, bend that knee, and I push my foot into my hand. I don't collapse, right? And the more I press against that hand, the more I feel that stretch. And then that knee that's bent back here is gonna go to the ceiling. I place my foot on the floor. I wrap my opposite arm around to lift me up taller, and I look over that shoulder. Stay lengthened in that spine. Yeah. Good. Now come into a quadruped position, your hands and knees. This is it. So we're just going to do two cat cows. So our sitting bones are going to slide up the wall as the eyes slide up the opposite wall. It's an inhale. Exhale, curl, tuck, round, breathe. And then one more. We move slowly between the two positions. We inhale, watch those shoulders. Then we exhale, scoop and round, tuck those toes under, press back. Then walk the hands back a step so those heels are more towards that mat. Yep. Lift those heels up from your core, press those heels down. Give me one more. Lift up from the core and press those heels down. We're going to walk our hands to our feet. We're going to dangle here for a second. That core is working hard to support the spine. And slowly start to peel yourself up. Tuck that tail. Tuck that tail. 
Give me a nice wide second position. I want you to take a nice big inhale up. Inhale. On the exhale, side stretch. I grabbed onto that wrist and pulled. Then I'm going to bring my arms back down. Lift up. My arm pulls the other side. And you have made it. Whew. Way to sweat. 